Hi everyone, I'm Sergey Gusev. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show how to paint a portrait of a child in oils on canvas. It's going to be a very beautiful portrait with a very unusual light. By the way, you can download the full version from my webpage and check out the list of my art supplies down here in the description. Okay, if you're ready, let's get started. First of all, I'm going to make a very quick underpainting using Odolo Thinner as a medium and only one paint, raw umber. I'm going to start working from the eyes, irises, pupils of the eyes and shadows on the face. Shadows in the eye sockets, nostrils, lips. Then we can paint the big core shadow of the face and continue working all over the canvas, including half tones. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to let this underpainting dry for a while. And while it's drying, I'm going to introduce you Skillshare, a sponsor of this video. So, what is Skillshare? Skillshare is an online learning community that offers membership with meaning, with so much to explore, real projects to create, and the support of fellow creatives, Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth. Make 2020 a year where you explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity with Skillshare's online classes. What you find just might surprise and inspire you. Skillshare offers classes designed for real life, so you can move your creative journey forward without putting life on hold. You can learn and grow with short classes that fit your busy routine. Please check out fine art, graphic design, illustration, animation, photography and lots of other classes on Skillshare. By the way, I am seriously thinking about taking classes in Instagram-worthy photography, because I really want to grow my Instagram audience in 2020. Skillshare is also incredibly affordable, especially when compared to price in person classes and workshops. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month. Click the link in the description to get two free months of premium membership and explore your creativity. And right now when underpainting is dry, I'm going to block in. This is the next stage. I will work with the colors, entire palette, also using synthetic brush. If you look at the source picture, you can notice that we have really warm lights and really cool shadows and a lot of reflected light in the shadows. You can see it on the forehead, cheek, upper chest, neck and so on. This is quite a difficult light situation, to be honest. We don't have a lot of strong contrast. The shadows are going to be darker than the lights anyway, but this difference in values is not very visible. I don't want to stuck in one place and start working all over the face. Right now I don't paint the colors as bright as they are on the source picture, they are more neutral. I'm just working on the big volume of the head. And we need to set up the right tonal and color relationships. In other words, we have to find the shadow, find out how dark it is compared to the light and how cool it is compared to the light. Then we need to block in the backgrounds and only after that we can start working on the face, on the half tones with more attention. Now the painting is dry and I'm applying 
the next layer of oil paints I'm using more lemon yellow, burnt sienna, not a lot of white and sometimes cadmium red or you can use permanent red. Remember that I'm talking a lot more about this painting in the full lesson which is available from my web page. Just check it out and download. I'm giving a lot more information in that lesson, which is about three hours long. Don't forget to work also on the hair, on the bows. Everything is really important. We also have really warm lights on the hair and really cool shadows with lots of reflections coming from the sky. Therefore, the reflections are going to be very cool and they have kind of bluish shade. When working on the facial details, you have to remember about their construction. Remember that all of them have volume, which means light and shadow. And right now, when working on the lips, you can notice that I'm making the upper lip cooler and darker and the low one lighter and warmer. It happens just because we have a lot more light on the lower lip and less light on the upper one. So the upper one is going to be cooler and the lower one slightly warmer. And of course, don't forget to paint that reflected light, which we can see in the shadows on the lips. At the very end, when the painting is completely dry, I'm going to work more on the details, on the likeness, correct the proportions and just simply add more details. I want to work on the eyes. You can see not only warm highlights in the eyes, but also cold ones coming from the sky which is making our painting a lot more picturesque and generally this combination of warm and cool shades is making our painting very beautiful. By the way, I decided to add some more contrast just because I think it's going to make this painting more interesting and make the volume stronger. I'm working on the hair applying the same basic rules which I applied working on the face. Warm lights and cool shadows with reflections coming from above, from the sky.
And at the very end, I'm just finishing this portrait, correcting some tiny things, they are almost invisible. For example, right now I'm working on the bow. It looks quite cold, blue, but again, remember that that blue color in the light is going to be warmer than the same blue color in the shadow. Okay, I think this portrait is finished. Remember to check out my webpage and download the full version. Put thumbs up if you like this lesson. Leave your comments down here. Subscribe to this channel because new videos are coming out really soon. And remember that you can find me on social media, Instagram and Facebook. I wish you good luck with your own artworks guys and see you in my next episode.